I'm doing is looking. So what should it feel like? Bouncy. Bouncy, yes. If we see it and do not feel it, then it's not a good place to go, okay? It's too far under the skin. So, you kind of have to, can you hold this down? Thank you. One goes over the top, it tucks down underneath like this, and then do the exhale like this. Okay, so like you're going to tie a knot, you just tuck it in and leave it. So I think I want to be able to see if I do this one right here. And it looks like the easiest one, to be honest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and watch me next. Okay, so it should be bouncy, okay? So, how long do I see? 30 seconds. So let's just say that it's been 30 seconds. 27, 28, 29, 30. So now I'm going to prepare our nice surprise while this is done. Everyone does it differently. You may see it done differently when you're out there, and you may do it your own way, like set everything up and then find the vein and then just go for it. However you want to do it is okay. You just have to... Make sure you do these certain readings correctly here. Okay, so what is in this right now? The two. Yeah. Yes, exactly, nothing. So we can't just pick it up and be done with it. We need to prime it. Because if we insert this air into our patient, what could happen? K kill them? Yeah, it's just done. You don't want to kill anybody. So we just force the fluid through until you see it come out of the top. Now, you can put this little cap back on, make sure it's loose, or you can leave it off and let this hang out in here, okay? Either way, this part needs to remain sterile because it's gonna get hooked up directly to the catheter. And the inside of this is sterile, right? As long as you don't touch it. I'm going to make my money back, but I'm going to take it out just in case. Okay. And then the little label is there. Okay. And let me make this one. Have you all noticed in the hospital that? the tourniquet colors on the floor differ as opposed to the lab. Can you notice that? Do we know why? What happens if a tourniquet gets left on a patient? They could lose that limb. permanent damage, mm -hmm. right? We want to know who put it there, right? Blue, nurse, orange, lab, maybe, okay? If you do not take the tourniquet off, it's just like an office mate. I'll have you redo it, okay? It's important to take that guy off there. So you want to loosen this up a little bit because it may be a little stuck. So get your finger in there. There's a little grippy here. This is where you hold it. And this white button is the safety. So don't push the safety until you're ready because the needle will retract into this room here, okay? Did you take the tourniquet off already? Yes, I haven't put it back on since I cleaned it earlier to find the vein. It's been off since then. Okay, so you just take it off once you find the vein? Yeah, okay. to prepare all this, and then once you're ready again to stitch, you put it back on. So you can get it up like that again. Good question. Can we just leave it on the whole time? No. Okay. Because you don't know how long this is going to take. If you set this up, 
put it on, find the vein, wait for it to dry, and then go, yes. Mm -hmm. But don't keep this on for two weeks, okay? Now, I'm going to put this guy back on. Thank you, Morgan. Mm -hmm. You want to do it tight so this comes out right. Also, if you're doing it over fragile skin, you can put it over the gap, not directly on the skin, okay? Now, say my vein goes away. Am I allowed to touch it? Just pinch, right? Some people clean their gloves and touch it like that. There's a bunch of different ways you can do it, but don't do that here, okay? <laughs> but don't do it here. So we're going to pull our vein top, just like that person said on the video, 10 to 30 degrees. You can stabilize here if you need to. Make sure your thumb, though, doesn't get in the way of your angle here. Bevel up, and you're going to go in until you see that flush. Okay, I don't think I got it because I didn't see the flash. Now, is it good to fish? No, no not to me, right? Let me open, can I open this so that it flows? Oh no, it was close. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's Thank probably you. why you didn't see it. Okay. <sighs> okay, good. All right, let's try it again. And if I did that, I'd have to clean it again. See it? Mm -hmm. It was yes. very, very light. Mm -hmm. It's flowing. So I want to lower this here. I want to thread this here. Only the catheter goes in the skin, right? Not the needle. Once it's flush with the patient there, take this off. Safety that up there, and it's going to start flowing. That's good. We want it to flow. Some of these flow and flow and flow. That's good. Your patient will not bleed out from a little poke there, okay? We would rather have blood than this. So we hook it up. Now, I want to push this through to make sure it's good. No pain. My patient feels okay. I'm pulling back. And like I said, you may or may not get it. This one's real light. I closed it back up, though. Okay. So you did. Here, I'm going to back. See it come through? And then you can just flush it on. I'm not going to though, but I'm showing you guys, okay? And then, in that top drawer there to the far right, there should be some cure. Thank you. This has a little chlorhexidine sponge in there, typically. And I'll use my key. I like to use the little um, stat lock that he put on there. Mm -hmm. I don't think I packed my salt from here. Mm. How would you take this? Oh. Like this? Start off that way and then you do the whole V thing. But Swift on thing? Yeah. Okay. It's it's nice when you have those stat locks. I know. I love it, those. Yeah. I think I might have some. But you can put it like this, but just mm -hmm. make sure you're not touching this right here, right? Because it's going directly over that. You want to stabilize that thing because somehow it will make its way out if you're not careful. Yeah, those stat locks are awesome. Yeah, you've used them too. A lot of people are like, I've never. Yeah, seen that's them. what we have. Well, I have, and they're really fascinating. Yeah, they make use. it very nice. And then it goes sticky side up. No, sticky side down. Remind me. See how down and folded up. Down to my No. Underneath. Under this? Yeah. Under. yeah, underneath. Yeah, see, once you get used to a certain thing, I know, right? you get out of practice on these things. Dang. Oh, yes, and then it crosses. Yeah. Yes, okay, yeah, yeah. I got it. The important thing is stabilize it, however. Just make sure it's in there and, and stabilize. And you can get it in and out of there so you can unplug it and plug it back in. Don't judge my dressing. Yeah. <laughs> I need to go get that. <laughs> yeah. oh, man. I read that stat <laughs> What do I write on here? Time, time and initial. Time, date, initial. One more thing. 
Gauge. Gauge. Yeah. You want to know what gauge is in there, and then you go and you chart it, okay? Off to the side, not on top. We want to make sure we can see that site. If you do not have to close this off here. If you forget, that's okay. The blood will not start coming out of here. That's what that, that part's for. It'll stop it. And then you tape it up like that to get it up out of the way. Does anybody sense how the ACX? 